here. Is anybody out there? Who is that? I said, who is that? Show yourself. She looks so young and innocent. That's how it always starts. So optimistic. So courageous. So full of promise. Then they end up here and become fearful. Hopeless. Forgot. Don't touch me! Don't worry. It will all become clear soon enough. Who are you guys? It's okay, honey. We're not here to harm you. Why am I here? Your owner has abandoned you. Owner? If they were real owners, they wouldn't leave us trapped in here. Yeah, a real owner protects you, cares for you, and your What owner? Oh, just tell her why she's here already. Now take it easy. You don't want to scare the little girl. Scared? You don't think she's scared already? Listen, Missy, you've been left for dead, forgotten. And the sooner you realize that, the better off you'll be. Now enjoy your stay. No, I'm not going to die here. Someone is going to come rescue me. <laughs> yeah. Right? That's what they all say. So what's your story? Excuse me? Well, you see, everyone has a story. That's my passion. Finding stories that express the pain and beauty in life. You see, great art reveals truth. Okay, artsy farty, just let her be. He's a wannabe filmmaker. I am not a wannabe filmmaker. I am a waiting to be filmmaker. I have stories that will change people's hearts and minds. Well, thank you, Mr. Spielberg. As long as I can get out of here. Hey, Shawshank, you planning a jailbreak? Can we? Can we make a plan to escape? We tried. There's no luck. Now just sit down right here, honey. Everything's gonna be okay. I'm so sorry this happened to you. I really am. Things will improve with time. I know I've been down here a while. You may feel abandoned, but just have faith. Well, your vitals are normal. Say ah. Uh. Ah. Uh, looks okay. This place can be a real shock to your system, so just try and relax. Relax? In this dungeon? Someone get me out of here! Relax, all right, look. The sooner you accept your fate, the better. What fate? What you might have been. It could have been making an impact at my child's school. Being a homeroom mom for those three months was great. Then the promotion at work, and suddenly there was just no time. At least, that's what she told herself. A medical clinic in Kenya, that was the vision. A short-term mission trip changed her whole world views. She promised to go back to Kenya as soon as she was finished with her residency. Then, all those tempting job offers came rolling in. He was going to be the first in his family to go to college. Freshman, sophomore year went just as planned. He had honors classes, perfect attendance. And then the girls and the parties came along. Now she just sits all alone, bored and depressed, thinking about them good old days. Them days when she felt needed. She was a wonderful cook, and everybody loved her casseroles mm. and them pies. School board elections were coming up. It was the perfect opportunity to run and influence her child's school in a big way. If only she had more courage than excuses. Now she's a high paid pediatric specialist. Kind of hard to remember the needs of Kenya when you're living the American dream. Now? He doesn't do much of anything anymore. He sits on the couch and plays video games, but he still wonders if he can change his life. <laughs> well, the fact is she's old, but she thinks God is finished with her. She's got so much to offer. A plan to feed those in her community? Then some pity sits in. And the doubt. And the fear of financial uncertainty. The owners, they're so selfish. What owners? The people who have been given these dreams. Wait, you're all dreams. Not just any dreams, God-given dreams. Dreams that can change the world. To heal the sick. To feed the hungry. To break a family cycle. To mend the broken hearted. To inspire hope. So, who are your owners? Them, sitting right out there. And they have all had God speak to them. Through vision. Ideas, songs, sermons. They have all experienced struggles and pain and show empathy with the pain of others. God has given them these dreams, but... But what? But they got distracted by the cares of the world. 
knocked off course by doubt and discouragement. Paralyzed by fear. So, we were abandoned. There are thousands of us in foster care, afraid and alone. I'm that dream that you had to adopt one of them. I know that their emotional baggage may disrupt your lifestyle, but they just want the security of a loving family. I'm so sorry. They will come for you. So, why were we abandoned? Don't they see the urgency? Because they're a bunch of procrastinators. The world is going to hell in a handbasket, and all they can care about is their precious college football. Wow, that's optimistic. Isn't a dream supposed to inspire hope? Oh, sweetheart, hope deferred makes the heart sink. We've all gotten a little bitter being locked in here for so long. <laughs> you think? Many of our owners are still out there, but many have just moved on. It was just too painful to be constantly reminded of what might have been. Think of the lives that could have been changed. If only they had just prayed. Listen to God. Been obedient. So, you're all just gonna give up. I don't think you understand, kid. It's up to them, not us, whether we get out of here. They hold the key. They can let us out any time they want. Until then, we just stand around here and wait on the inevitable. No, we can't die here. We're God's plan to transform this world. <clears throat> it's no use, kid. We're trapped in a cage. Well, let's rattle this cage. You heard me? Let's wake them up! Inspire them to dream again! Remind them of the dreams they once had! Tell them, no more excuses! No! Thank you.